Uh, hello, World Program 3. Uh, I wish that maybe you could watch this one day and uh, respond. But uh, yeah, like I understand where you're coming from, and you know, if I was if I was you, you know, I would probably felt the same way if I grew up in the same situations as you are and thought the way and experienced the stuff that you you experienced. Yeah, I, I might have sat down at the church that day and then would have thought the same thing, you know. Uh, but you know, like that's why I understand you that we all misunderstand sometimes of the things that we we really don't know, right? I mean, it's okay. Like I mean, I I misunderstand a lot of stuff. A lot of people misunderstand a lot of a lot of things, and that's why we have confusion, we have fights, and we have arguments. Uh, but I'm not I'm not here to argue because you know I understand you know where people come from. Um, so I, I just wanted to say that uh. Like, you know, God is jealous because, you know, He has a mind like us. Like you said, um, like you said, maybe we created God in our own thinking, right? But in actuality, you know, we are created in His image, and then we think like God, and God thinks like us. That that because we we are exact like kind of like clones of Him, and we like to create clones too, don't we? You know, we're we're, we're in a clone cloning project. We want to create man too. You know, and that's our own, you know, you know, will, and that's because we have the mind like God. We like to make things, we like to challenge things, and we like to create things. So, you know, we have to understand that God has a mind like us too, right? And and if uh, it's like same thing, why why God God would get jealous? Why why do we get jealous? Like let's say, um like your girlfriends or your boyfriends or something, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, if they start loving other guy or other girl more than you, wouldn't you get jealous? Wouldn't you get jealous? If your husband and your wife or something, you know, they start, you know, cheating on you, right? Wouldn't you get jealous because they love that other girl more than you or, you know? I mean, they don't really have to necessarily love other girl more than you. They just, you, you just get jealous, right? Am I, am I wrong? God's the same way. And one thing God can't do is that He can't lie. Oh, He's all omnipotent and omniscient. But one thing He can't do, you have to know, that He cannot lie. We can choose to lie, you know, but God just can't lie. And He's just being honest about Himself that He's, he's saying, Me too. I, I'm like you, you know. I, I created you in my image. And I also am jealous. I, I, I get angry too. And that's my weak moments, like when he gets jealous and when he gets angry. You know, that's why that's when he destroys people and you know, because you know, he, he gets jealous too. I mean, his love for you is so much that when you start loving other things or other people more than God, then God 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 sees that and he gets he gets jealous. Because, you know, the way the same way you get jealous over your boyfriend or girlfriend. He gets jealous of over you because he loves you so much. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. God wants you to love other people, right? And and you do. I mean, I, I see see all your generous ger generosity over the world that you spend your own money, and you know for the people. And I, I I really admire it. I really admire it, and God admires you on that aspect too. And that God, and God sees that, and God God sending people like me to you to tell you that, you know, man. You know, like, he still loves you a lot, and he, he's been blessing you through, you know, because you bless other people so much. You know, he, he God, God, God knows, your, God knows your generosity, generous heart, and he knows how, how much you love the people, just as he loves you. And God, God's saying, you know, it's time for you to, you know, rethink things, you know. It's okay that you misunderstood a lot of things, but that's okay, because we all make mistakes, you know. And you, you might consider, you know, with the spirit, 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 spiritual stuff that you know we we are gods, and you know, and and we are our own gods and stuff. And God said the same thing in Psalm eighty two six. If you read read that, you know, I said you are gods. You know, you are the children of the Most High, right? You know, and a lot of people will think that's controversial. You know, I'm not saying that you can be like God the Father. You can't be Him. We can't be Jesus, we can't be the Holy Spirit, but we are right underneath that when we accept Christ in our life. 
because Christ has, um, you know, already took us out of the bondage of the devils and demons. You know, people who did not accept Christ, you know, they're still under the bondage of demons and, you know, devils. I'm saying a lot of Christians who do not know this also are in bondage of the devil and they don't even know. And the demons, they don't even know. And, you know, God, God clearly said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge in Hosea 4, 6. And he's talking about not the worldly knowledge, but the spiritual knowledge, just as you know. You know, but uh, when you get into that realm, you have to be careful, you know, because, you know, only only reason when you can, how you can overcome the demons and devils of the spiritual realm is you, through the power of Christ, can overcome it. And you can't just do it on your own. At the time, when you're trying to do it on your own, you're underneath demons and devils. You're, you're, you're underneath their rank. And they just rule over they just, they don't, they're, they're not going to play around with you. They're going to try to destroy you. You know? So it's very important to know this. And a lot of people do not know this. And, you know, I myself am learning this. So, so yes, yeah, it's, it's very important to, you know, you know, understand God. Like, he, he thinks just like us. God's saying, I think like you, you know, because I made you in my image. And when a, whatever we think, you know, that's how God thinks. So, you know, just because he said he gets jealous doesn't mean he's not loving, right? I mean, he's, he's so loving that he's, he's, he's willing to, you know, drag you out, drag people out of their, you know, sins and, you know, make them righteous and live and bless them and all that. You know, God, God wants you, but unless, unless we start living righteously and stuff, God cannot bless people. So I just want you to know that it's okay to misunderstand. Just when you realize, you know, the truth, you know, it's time to come back to the Lord, you know, and, you know, and serve Him and whatnot, you know, because, you know, He, he created us. I mean, we didn't create our own self. The world just didn't just pop out of nowhere. You know, someone had to create this and just natural law. I, I can't I can't prove to you gravity, you know, exists, but you know, gravity is existing because you see the book drop. So I can't I can't, you know, prove to you God. You can only prove God yourself by asking him to come today in your life and, and just talk to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's the one who whom whom is sent from Jesus and he's a he's in a spirit He's a, he's a spirit of God. In the Old Testament, God the Father came down mightily with Moses and stuff, and Abraham and stuff. And, and during the New Testament, you know, God sent His Son personally as a person, and, you know, as Jesus Christ. And then now Jesus, when He was going up to heaven, He said, I'll send you my helper, my comfort, the Holy Spirit of God. So we must accept Him and we must, and He's, he's all around here. He's even talking to me. And He's talking to you. Uh, but you have to let your spiritual ears and eyes open in order to see him or, you know, to hear his voice. And, you know, if you want to know about that, watch my other videos. But, yeah, that's that's basically why I want to say that, you know, it's okay to misunderstand. Just don't get caught up in your own thinking, you know, because we all we all make mistakes. And we're, we're never always right, right? I mean, we find out, oh, well, I was wrong, right? So it's okay, you know. Just just come back to your Lord today, and uh, I hope everybody who's watching, this, you know, be blessing to you in the name of Jesus. Amen.